well. So, you know, us as being vocalized to the younger guys, you know what we're you know, shooting for is really important. I was just say, doing missing several games, that's probably you know, really crushing him. He can't play. Yeah, it's tough on him. You know, he want to be out there with us, but, you know, he's got to keep, you know, knowing what he's doing, getting rehab or whatever's going on and just, you know, they'll get better. Jordy missed, missed a three there late. They would have cut it to two. How much belief do you have in yourself that one of those is going to fall at some point? Yeah, every shot I shoot, you know, I think it's going in. So, but, you know, like you said, you know, if I made that, I would have been down by two and probably would have been different for the game. But, you know, just got to continue to, you know, fight, continue to, you know, push and take my shots. How much does it help that? Whenever we ask teammates, but your teammates just about you know, keep shooting, it's like he needs to keep shooting because we think he's going to make it. I mean, just their belief in you help you. I mean, it's, it's amazing. You know, they have confidence in me to go out there and do it, so I might as well be confident in myself and then go out there and shoot. Me. How frustrating has it been? If it seems just watching the game, a lot of your shots are halfway down yeah. and then they just rim out. I think you know, I had the most lows you know, the whole year, but you know, I just got to continue to get through it, continue to fight, and drive the ball when I, my shot's not falling. So that's what I'm trying to do. Not, not you personally, but just, I mean, do you feel like it's hard for you guys to get points right now on offensive times? No, when we execute, I feel like we can score the ball, you know, you know good as anyone you know, when we execute, but when we're not executing and, you know, trying to play, you know, one on ones. The you know defense is kind of hard and we get kind of stagnant, but when we execute, we're a good offensive team. I know there's nothing you can do about it at this point, but does it does it frustrate you even privately thinking back if you had Lamonte, how he could help you in so many areas that, that you guys have lost games and things like that? I mean, you know, we, I love to have Lamonte out there, you know, but you know, whatever he's going through, you know, I trust him. I'm with him 100. But you know, we have Santi. You know, Santi, he's a big guy for us. He, you know, he's he, he's tough and he's relentless, and I love it. How about that long three and then those offensive yeah, that was, yeah, that was that was a tough stretch, you know. But he's, he he fought and you know he hit that tough shot. And that's what I love about him. He's he never scared of the moment. How much were you all missing Josiah's and and Lamonte's perimeter defense today? I mean, uh, I mean, we play, we guard him. You know, we guard him. I feel like, and you know, they was making tough shots at the end. But you know, you know, we fought. You know, but having you know Lamonte or you know, Josiah would help us. But um, we fought. On the flip side of that, how much would you say that? Um Santiago has settled into your guys' offense today. His turnovers have been going down. Yeah, Santi, you know, he's, I don't know how he does it, you know, but, you know, he's been big for us. You know, he's continuing to get better, continue to learn from Coach and uh, from us as well. So he's been doing a good job. Where do y'all miss Josiah the most? Um, you no, know, rebounding, you know, offense and defensive rebounding. And also, you know, uh, you know just uh, making tough shots. You know, he can shoot the ball as well. So, uh, you know, we need him out there. And, what is Euro got to do to contribute to the floor? Play a big role? Um, you know, just stay aggressive, you know, dunking the ball, blocking shots, and, you know, making hustle plays and not, you know, cheap fouls that we don't need. So, um, you know, he's just got to continue to get better and, you know, learn from his mistakes. How hard is it for someone like him to learn between the physicality and the things he's got to do on the fly when he hasn't played in so long? Yeah, it's new to him, you know, but he's got to, he got to start to practice, you know, got to you know, practice things like that. It translates to the game, so that's one thing you got to do, you got to want to do it. You guys held your own against some of the best guards in the conference, maybe even the nation. On so much confidence does that give you guys going into, you know, February, late February and going into March? Yeah, just sticking to our game plan and knowing what we're, you know, we're shooting for, you know, just executing our defense, you know, you know, execution and, you know, just, you know, wanting to guard and get stops and rebounds. What did you see from Olivier uh, during that stretch? I think it was early in the second half, maybe late first half, but when y'all were able to kind of claw back into it, what did you see from Olivier during that stretch? Being aggressive, you know, letting, letting the game come to him and not trying to do too much. And that's one thing he, he's been struggling with, trying to do too much instead of, you know, just letting the game come to him. And he's, he's helped us a lot on the defensive end. You all had encouraging performance against Kansas and didn't necessarily fall in the best way against a and how, how can you follow up to the, uh, tonight's performance with? A, you know, a better effort uh, against Arkansas. Just got to stay, stay consistent on defense and be 